The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Now on UMass Sports Insider, you'll meet the heart and soul of the Minute Women basketball team. A Canadian who's been starting and doing a little bit of everything for Coach Dolly since she arrived on campus. And we take a look at the recently named A-10 legends from the UMass basketball teams. Two former standout athletes who were selected last week to be honored at this year's conference championship. Plus, we get you ready for the spring season on the tennis courts, where one year removed from nearly winning a conference title, the Minute Women have their sights set on making another big run in the Atlantic 10. Serving up another exciting half-hour program, UMass Sports Insider, here we go. Watching UMass Sports Insider, presented by Mafre Insurance, Coca Cola, and Office Depot Office Max. It will be a big weekend coming up at the Mullen Center. A pair of hockey games against conference rivals for Coach Micheletto's team, with a big A 10 contest against St. Louis for the Minutemen Hoop Squad, sandwiched right in between. Should make for quite a busy 24 hours for the Mullen Center staff and for a fun two days for all of the fans. Hi there and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host Josh Mauer. Those games at Mullins this weekend include a hockey contest Friday against BC, then Saturday night against UVM, while the men's basketball team is hosting St. Louis at noon here on Saturday. We begin this show with women's basketball, where UMass is being led in the locker room again this year by a senior out of Canada who statistically has all around been one of the most productive players for the program in years. Let's meet Rashida Timbe as presented by Office Depot, Office Max. Intelligent, crazy athletic, quiet leader, versatile, incredibly strong, incredibly moral. I would be the happiest coach in the world if I could have 15 Rashidas every year. It's weird to think that I'm a senior now and it felt like I was a freshman last year. Two weeks ago it felt like, but at the end of the career when you look back at it, it kind of did go by fast, but you know, there's a lot of memories packed into those four years. The coaches and my teammates look at me as a leader on the court, and yeah, I've been here for four years, and you have, we're playing with a lot of freshmen and sophomores, so they haven't really been through it all or seen it all. I think last year we had a good amount of success, but we've hit a little adversity, and I think we need to stick together a little more. It means a ton to the program. It's nice to have someone with that much talent be that much of a team player as well. And the only thing I could say that we've kind of been on Rashida about in four years is she's just not selfish enough on offense. If she could look for her own, I think she'd score more for us, but it, it's, it's in her being to look for others, um, to set other people up. And I think of all the people in the UMass record book, I would say you'd be hard pressed to find someone that could be the best point guard on the floor at any given time, or the best three, or the best four. That's hard to find in a, in a point guard at 6'6'1", six, six, and she's had to fill in that role a lot in her four years I and mean, did a really good job, and I think she'd probably still be there if she liked it, uh, but she'd prefer to play the three and the four, so that's where she is. I think I wanted to be a complete basketball player, not just good at one thing. You know, you have areas where you excel at, obviously, but to be just a complete basketball player is the ultimate goal. My coaches growing up were European, so they had a different sense of basketball in terms of you know, everyone has to be able to dribble, everyone has to be able to pass, everyone has to be able to shoot. So I think it has helped me, you know, playing here. I played a guard for most of my four years here and then being able to play in the post. So I think it's like smoother transition and allows me to be on the court more. It says a lot about their natural talent. I think it says a lot about their IQ, that they can flip a switch and play almost anywhere. I think it says a lot about them personally that they'll play anywhere their team needs them to play. It'll be an accomplishment to be listed in the UMass record books for a long period of time and you know obviously somebody will come in later after me and probably break those records as well but you know to reflect on it now it's obviously a great accomplishment and it's you know I owe it to my teammates and coaches for continually pushing me. When I came here at UMass I never thought you know be in the record books it was just to help our team win games but to end your career in the record books is great and I feel like every player wants to do that. 
the thing that will always come to mind when I say her name is she'll go down in the books as one of the best players ever from the, one of the most amazing families I've ever met. My parents were born and raised in Ghana and then through friends, you know, kind of immigrated to Canada. He tells a story, he came to Canada with like $3 in his pocket and a new country and a new sense of laws and rules. So I think he's had a great journey and I think us being able to, you know, get a good education and do what we love is why he came to Canada and why, you know, he left his family and his friends way back when. I tell her all the time, I think of her dad as one of the nicest people I've ever met and driving home from her home back to UMass, Jen and I were just like, what an incredible family. What a great get that would be for us. And, and that just, you know, covers so many levels. You know, you have a leader, a worker, someone that gets it, someone that knows right from wrong. And when time comes, we, you know, we send her off and she graduates, that that's a family that we'll all make sure that we're always in touch with. They helped us realize that there's so many opportunities in the world for us, you know, and you just don't limit yourself to one idea and go out and do what you love and you know make the most of every opportunity. Wherever she lands I know she'll make a huge difference. She's someone that's graduating from the UMass family that will never be forgotten and will be talked about every day. Thank you so much Rashida. The men and women are going to be off this weekend but they return to action next Wednesday. It's the annual field trip game here at the Mullen Center so a matinee and the arch rival Rhode Island Rams will be in town. Well, it's time for us to step away for just a few moments. We'll be right back on UMass Sports Insider. And on the other side, we keep it with the basketball theme and look at the two UMass greats who were recently selected to receive a huge honor at the upcoming Atlantic 10 tournament. Find out who they are right after this. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass men and men are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. Single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffray insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffray insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. And I have an agenda. <laughs> Leadership isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. Well, in what is becoming an annual tradition, every year the Atlantic 10 is selecting one men's and women's basketball great from each of its member institutions to be honored during the conference championship in Brooklyn. They call it the A-10 Legends, and last week UMass's selections were announced for this upcoming March. Here they are, presented by Office Depot, Office Max. 
From the men's side, Marcus Camby was named UMass's 2016 Atlantic 10 legend. One of the most decorated athletes in UMass history, Camby won the 96 John R. Wooden Award and the Naismith National Player of the Year Award in leading the Minutemen to the Final Four. Camby was a first team All-American in 95-96 and led the A-10 with 20 and a half points per game. A two-time All-District and first-team All-Conference selection, UMass won the A-10 in each of his three seasons in Amherst, and he was named the A-10 Freshman of the Year in 94. Camby left Amherst with the most blocks in a career and a single season, while he scored over 1,300 points to still rank in the top 10 all-time among the Minutemen. The highest NBA draft pick in Atlantic 10 Conference history, Camby played with six different NBA teams in his 17-year career. He was named the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year in 2006-07 and was a four-time member of the NBA All-Defensive Teams. The UMass Minute Women's 2016 A-10 legend is Melissa Gurile Black, who was instrumental during the Minute Women's trips to the NCAA and WNIT tournaments in the mid-90s. From 93 to 96, Gurile helped turn UMass from a 500 program into one of the best in the Atlantic 10, including the Minute Women's first ever WNIT appearance in 95 and first ever NCAA tournament berth in 96. She was a four-time A-10 honoree, earning all-conference first-team honors as a junior, second-team honors as a sophomore and a senior, and all-rookie honors in 92-93. To date, Gurile still stands as the number three career scorer in program history with over 1,700 points. She scored in all 114 career games played and added 830 rebounds and over 180 block shots. The A-10 Legends program is now in its fourth season and once again this year, the men's basketball tournament will be held at the beautiful Barclays Center in Brooklyn this March with the Legends Ceremony to be held as part of a special brunch prior to the Saturday semifinals. Well, it's time for us again to step aside here on UMass Sports Insider. When we come back, we're going to hit the tennis courts and preview the start of the spring season for the Minute Women, a squad with big hopes of making another deep run in the A-10s. Ready to hit some winners, we'll be right back. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass Minutemen are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the maroon pack or the musket pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. Single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. Last year, UMass Tennis had one of its best seasons ever, advancing all the way to the championship match of the Atlantic 10 tournament before falling in large because of an injury that cost the team a chance to win the title. Now this year, head coach Judy Dixon and her team have their sights set on taking the season one step further. So let's meet them, presented by Peter Pan. It's a very, very good team. It's a very deep team. Team. Um, they play doubles very well. Um, I think now it's just a matter of them putting the work in. Obviously their goal is the Atlantic 10 Conference, which they feel like they can capture this year. Um, anything less than that would be a disappointment. This year's team, it's better than last year because um, we added two good players and we only lost Chanel. This year we have better chances against every team, not only conference, but like every dual match. We start this weekend with, we play Cornell, which was thrown into the schedule at the last minute. Cornell ended up just out of the top 75 last year. We go from Cornell, we go straight into playing Brown, who's 53 in the country, and after that we play Boston College, 49 in the country. Now I'm looking for us really to compete well so that when we get to the meat of the season that we're playing our best. I'm really excited. Our goal is to win A-10s, and so we're just taking these matches to basically prepare. My kids do feel like they have an opportunity, um, and I use that word with them, opportunity. This is an opportunity to see where we stack up against the best. Certainly when your number one doubles team is so successful, it really does give a lot to the program and to the team because then they feel that for the doubles, we just have to win one of the other doubles. They were ranked very highly at the end of the year last year. The um, preseason rankings came out. They're now number nine. 
These two, they start the team off, and the doubles point is such a, a big factor in tennis psychologically. Um, it allows you to go into the singles with just enough of, a, of an edge. With Carol, it was an easy relationship since the beginning because she speaks Spanish too. And so at the beginning, it was like my safe place to go. And she helped me a lot also because she's international and she's a transfer. So she was a junior last year and I would go and be like, Carol, I'm homesick. And she would help me. And also, we work together really well. Um, I have the power and then she's more like handy and stuff. I think it's a good combination. Also our personality, she's more calm. I'm more like, let's go, come on. I think that this is a life-changing experience. I think that I've grown as a person and as a tennis player too. Um, I'm more calm on court. I'm not losing my mind that easy. And also outside of the court, being away from home, away from your family, your friends, you learn how to do things by yourself. You have to fight, fight, fight! Thank you, Coach, and Anna. The spring portion of the team schedule begins this weekend. They'll be out in Boston for a match against Cornell. Later in the month, the team will also have dual matches at Brown and Boston College. Well, it's time for us to take a break again on UMass Sports Insider. When we come back, we're going to hear all about the hard work the Minute Men and Minute Women have been doing in the classroom, learning why they are called student athletes with the emphasis on the student part. We're coming right back. Leadership isn't given. It's earned. Realized. Accomplished. Fulfilled. One. Leadership isn't given. It's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. On this program every week, we highlight so many of the great individual and team achievements we see within the fields of play. But now we're going to talk about the other part of being a student athlete, what happens in the classroom. And for that, we welcome on the Associate Athletic Director for Academic Services here at UMass. This is Joan Hopkins and our conversation presented by Mafre Insurance. Joan, it's great to have you. Thank you, Josh. Happy to be here. All right, so the big news of late here for your program is that the academic program at UMass has now become nationally certified by the N4A. Hey, describe that for us. Tell us what that means okay. and why it's important. Well, the N4A is our National Association of Academic Advisors for Athletics. It is the national certifying association for programs for academic programs. So we asked them to come in and look at our academic program. And uh, they spent three days on our campus. They interviewed uh, many, many people in different areas across campus in athletics. And at the end of it, they, um, they said that our program met the standards of the National Association and now we are certified. And there are only 31 programs that are certified. So right. this is a very big deal for a program like, like UMass to be in that category, right? Yes, it's a very big deal because when you are recruiting student athletes and their parents are looking for a program that they know has met the minimum standards and over of all the programs in the United States, they want to see this. Our name is on the, on the N4A website, on the NACTA website that we are one of the 31 programs in the United States that now is certified. Now Joan, I, I know the the spring semester has just started, but the fall grades are now in and finalized. And as a whole, your student athletes had a really good fall, didn't they? Yes, they did, uh, especially our women. But uh, overall, we had a 3.069 GPA, which is wonderful to have of 650 student athletes that have a B average. That's mm. the average. And that's terrific um, and the women had their highest fall they had a 3.269 which is the highest they've ever had um, since I've been here at UMass so it's it's a big deal that we had we, we set that benchmark so that it can go higher in the future as well I think you deserve a lot of the credit your staff deserves a lot of the credit for for the work the good work that the student athletes do in the classroom I think people would be curious to know 
how does it work? How do you and your counselors get to spend time and help the student athletes get through their classwork every semester? Josh, we have seven full-time academic counselors and they each have their own sports, kind of like their academic coaches. So they work with their sport teams and those teams know that they have an academic counselor who works with them individually on anything they may have a question about. We have our support services include tutoring by peer tutors, other students, which is the best kind of tutoring been proven in studies to have for an undergraduate, but we also help them with, uh, we have a life skills area which helps in their development toward careers and making sure that they are on track each year, freshmen, sophomores, junior, seniors, we have programming for, it's called the Maroon Connections Program. Um, so, and we also want to help them get on, out on campus and become a whole well-rounded student athlete. I guess kind of to wrap it up, people might be watching and thinking, well, why is all this so necessary? And I think you can answer that well because of the demands of time that student athletes have from their, from their practice schedules and their game schedules. It's really, really imperative that you have counselors like you, you and your, your staff, right, Joan, to make sure that these, these student athletes can be successful. Absolutely. Um, it is like having a full-time job plus and going to school full-time. So you're right. It is basically because of their commitment to the university and representing the university on an athletic team. Uh, we want to make sure that their number one commitment is their academic uh, to graduate, to graduate with the highest grade point average, and to graduate and have a career path are our three big goals. Well, it's great to have you here, Joan. Congratulations again on the national certification. And Thank we, you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. Associate Appreciate Athletic it. Director for Academic Services, that's Joan Hopkins. We'll be back to wrap up another edition of UMass Sports Insider right after this, including some big news over this weekend for two UMass football standouts. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass men and men are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. The single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TIX or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffray insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffray insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. And I have an agenda. <laughs> We're back on UMass Sports Insider. Well, this Saturday, it's a very big honor for two UMass senior football players who finished up their careers this past November. Both Taj A. Sharp and Blake Fronapple will be taking part in the prestigious East-West Shrine Game. That'll be in St. Petersburg, Florida at 4 o'clock. If you'd like to watch both Blake and Taj A. play before all of those NFL scouts, you can watch the game on the NFL Network.
Well, that'll do it for this edition of the program. Don't forget, it's a big weekend here at the Mullen Center with a pair of hockey games, Friday night against BC, Saturday night against UVM, and a men's basketball game against St. Louis, sandwiched right in between at noon here on Saturday. We'll have another new edition of the program coming up next week, so we hope that you'll be able to tune in. Until that time, I'm Josh Maurer saying thanks again for watching and have a great weekend.